There you go. Wow, that's a fat walleye. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yep. Good work, buddy. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Bennington Pontoon Boats, driven by excellence. Strike King, tie one on. And lose, feel the difference. Hi, welcome to Fishing the Midwest. I'm Mike Frisch. Thanks for stopping by. It's ice fishing season, and today we're going to go to one of my favorite ice fishing destinations, Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota South Dakota border. But we're going to start with open water perch. The perch are at ice draw, but they bite really well during summer and fall as well. So we'll start with open water and then we'll be on the ice. Let's head to Big Stone. Today we're at one of my favorite fishing destinations. We're at Big Stone Lake, a Minnesota South Dakota border water. I'm with fishing guide Tanner Arndt along with Adam Copeland, Adam and his wife Jen own Schmidt's Landing on the South Dakota side of Big Stone. We're chasing Big Stone's numerous perch. Let's get out on the water and see what happens. I ain't a bad one. Chunky little bugger. So one of the keys to finding big stone perch is actually um, finding the bigger big stone perch. Big stone right now is loaded up with fish. There's some small fish, but there's a whole bunch of fish in that nine to 11 inch range. Those are ideal eaters. We're on the search for those today. Bad perch. That's a pretty nice perch. And Adam, you're using the minnow, right? I am, yep. This is a bigger one. What do you got there, buddy? I think it's a bigger gill. Bigger gill? Yeah. There are some real nice bluegills in the lake right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at nice. that one. Wow. That so, is a gill. So, Tanner, that gill is what, 10 inches? Yeah, that's a 10 inch gill, and just about anywhere you go, that's a trophy. You know, and Big Stone has just a ton of them right now. Uh, but, God, they're a lot of fun on these small rods. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to reel them in. And so, I got a fish oh, here. I don't think on. mine's as good as yours, but but I mean that's that, a nice one, Mike. That is not uncommon to catch several of those in a day, right? No, there's lots of men here, you know, mixed right with it, the perch, you know. You can sit be sitting there perch fishing, you hook into one of these, you know what it is right away. This isn't a bad perch either. You know the thing about it, Tanner, is it's awesome. There's very few places, and I mean, we go a lot of places across the Midwest where you can consistently catch 10 inch gills. Big Stone's one of them, in addition to a bunch of these guys as well. Today we're using ice rods. It's a real good finesse way to catch those perch and bluegills. And you know, you can just feel so much more with the short rods, uh, but it also really adds to the fight too. You know, when you're fishing for panfish and you get a bluegill or a big perch for that matter hooked up, they do still fight and it's a lot of fun. Oh, it's a gill again. Gill again. Is it? Little gill, yeah. I guess they ain't too terrible. Did you just call him a gill again? Gill again. Gilligan did not eat the skipper. Oh, there we go. Is that a 10? No. No. I no, think no. We're about around an eight and a half here. So the bite on Big Stone has been good lately, and we've been seeing a lot of perch and a lot of bluegill coming in lately. Today we're fishing from a pontoon. Let's take a break and go to the Talon Tip and explore a unique way to help you better control your pontoon for fishing. Talons work great for anchoring on pontoons as well as traditional fishing boats. Here's our friend Walleye Dan with his pontoon rigged with a couple of talon anchors. These talons do a great job helping Dan anchor up in his fishing spots and at the dock as well. <laughs> There we go. There we go. It's a little more like so, it. Hey, there we go. When you think, a hey, perch yep. is a gill. 
That's a good perch. <laughs> uh oh. That one looks nice, Mike. Yep. I think it's a gill. I think but it, it might is. be a good gill. Oh, it doesn't look quite as big. What do you got, Anna? I don't know. It's a gill, but it's not a big one. Yeah, I mean, nice perch. There you go. Look at that. Double. Is that a good one, Anna? Oh, a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, that ain't bad. Yeah, both those two are pretty nice ones. They are. And we all had a fish on. Man, it's just one right after another. A couple more for the tank. A couple more for the live well. It will be good chewing. Those perch that are in that 9 to 11 class range, man, they can be some of the tastiest perch that you can get. And you can get some nice blaze out of those perch. Yeah, that's oh, a pretty really good one again. Nice pattern. All right, plastic. <laughs> Uh oh, what do we got here? Nice one. Good oh, old fashioned yeah. double there. You guys are on them. <laughs> We're giving away this Lou's Rod and Reel Combo and Tackle Pack. Visit our website for entry information and to see all things Fishing the Midwest. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by beautiful Cabotogama Lake, gateway to Voyagers National Park, Hannay's Marine, there are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hannay's Marine. And Minn Kota, Talon, and Humminbird, simply, clearly better. When you go out skipping, trying to learn, it's not about catching fish. Will it help you catch fish? Yes. Will it help you catch more and bigger fish? Yes. But there's something about when you go out and try to learn and you get the right equipment, and, and you skip, slam out of sight, and you can't see it, you feel like you won. Whether you caught one or not, skipping downright makes you feel good when you skip a bait, slam out of sight. With the attention to detail to help you get the most out of your fishing time, while still offering the comfort and fit and finish you need for family cruising. Bennington offers you the best of both worlds with its category leading pontoons. Oh, let's see what she goes here. Bennington, driven by excellence. Alexandria, Minnesota is a multi-season, multi-species fishing hotspot with more than 300 lakes to fish, world-renowned bass fishing, booming walleye populations, and top panfish and muskie opportunities make Alexandria an angler's dream destination. Plus, Alexandria has a vibrant downtown, great golf courses, miles of ski, snowmobile, and bike trails, and fantastic dining and lodging options. If you're looking for great fishing and family fun, consider Alexandria, Minnesota for your next vacation. Closed captioning on Fishing the Midwest is provided by Offshore Tackle, your leader in trolling technology. That's the good stuff there. There you go. Look Ooh, at that nice. one. Oh, nice. Good job, Adam. Now we're getting into some good ones. Big one that, that showed up. Thick. That's a nice one. Wow, that is a nice that one. That is a nice one. He's like thick it. and he's long. <laughs> Today's presentation, what we're doing is we're doing something a little bit unique. We're actually fishing with ice rods and reels and basically jigging right over the side of the boat. Um, something really unique, but as you can see, very effective. Ooh, Ooh, that, that sounds good. Ooh. That sounds oh, good. Oh, boy. Yeah. That is a toad. Look at that. Adam, Adam, Adam. Football season. Oh, look at that one. It's a beauty. Yep. 
Big Stone, like we talked, is full of perch right now. And the nice part about it is, yeah, you don't have to be on the spot, you know. It's fishing basin, and the basin is full of fish right now. So there's a lot of different places on the lake you can go to catch fish. And not only that, you know, it's, it's really good fishing. Oh, look at that there you monster. Go. Nice. Yes. You're getting the hang of it. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a big gill. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Nice gill. Big old gill again? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. look at that. Woo! That's yep, awesome, that's Tanner. Tank or Saurus? That is a gill. Mm. I've never seen one. So the bluegill fishing in Big Stone Lake has been on the rise over the past few years, and I think the numbers, I believe the numbers are the best they've ever been uh, per the last count that they've had. And we see a lot of different age classes of bluegills, but we are starting to see some really phenomenal large bluegill. We also see many people doing the sportsman-like thing and releasing the nice large bluegill um, so they can go back and reproduce and keep the, the lake healthy for years to come. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good fish, Tanner. And this bite, this basin perch bite, you were telling me earlier, it's been going for a while now, hasn't it? Yeah, we've been catching these all summer. You know, I mean, really, it, it's gotten early and early every year. We're seeing these fish starting biting in June, July, you know, so, I mean, we get four or five months of this fishing, and it, it's fast and furious all year long. And the word is definitely out. I mean, here it is. It's a Wednesday morning in September, and look at, there's boats all over. There's one pack here of 15 boats, and there's probably four or five other spots in the lake have the same number of boats. Yeah, the word's getting out, but when you got a perch like this, you know, I mean, there's more perch than we could even imagine in the system right now, so it can handle all the pressure, uh, but you gotta come out and enjoy it. Look at there. Chunky perch. Today we're keeping some fish for a meal, and the live well's starting to show it. Staying down. <laughs> it's getting to be later on in the morning and when I hook up on a fish. Now I haven't caught a lot of fish today, but Big Fish Mike gets it done. Oh man. <laughs> Pike Aroni. <laughs> Is that why they call you Big Mike? <laughs> so Brian's a big pike. Ah! Uh, He's got some shoulders. He does. He's been eating good too. Yeah. All that little perch down yeah. there. I, think I bet he's good. got a few of those little yellow perch in his gullet. So today, as you see, we're using ice fishing rods and reels. And on that big northern pike, a good smooth drag is really important to make sure that you don't break the line. I was using four pound line for that big pike. That little loose laser light reel does a great job for your winter ice fishing. And as you can see today, it works during the open water season too. Come on. This one oh, be Adam, Hank and Greg. Nice. He's just aggressive. Yeah. Adam, let's talk a little bit about Schmidt's Landing and all that you guys offer. It's really all about the family, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we we tailor to, uh, you know, both fishing and, and family. And there's there's a lot of both that we get down there, and we've got the ability to kind of cater to both with the summer, you know, swimming and getting together for family reunions. But then we also got the, you know, we're right on Big Stone Lake with this fantastic fishing that we're seeing today. Um, we've also got a wide variety of trails. We've got state parks on both the South Dakota and Minnesota side of Big Stone Lake. Um, there's lodging available um, throughout the, the local cities and also on the lake. Another one for the table. Tanner Arndt is a year-round guide out of Artie's Bait Shop in Hortonville. Let's take a quick break and learn more about what Artie's has to offer the angler. So at Artie's, you know, we got, uh, we got all the bait and tackle you guys will need when you're going out fishing. Um, and the other thing is, is we like to help guys get on fish too. You know, we have maps in the shop. We're willing to put guys, uh, you know, in the right direction. Um, but we can hook you up with all the bait and tackle you guys will need uh, coming out to Big Stone. There we go. That's an eater, That's a isn't nice it? fish. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I got one too. Tanner's got one. Here's might be, but mine's a little on the shorter side, but that's all right. 
He'll be a good eater in a year or two. Mine, mine, mine was on the getaway side. <laughs> we'll have more great fishing action after this brief break. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Alexandria, Minnesota, the Alexandria Lakes area, Minnesota's hidden gem with 350 lakes conveniently located in the heart of Minnesota. Diamond Buick GMC, experience the diamond difference. And Aqua Traction Marine Flooring, toughness has a soft side. Lake Capitogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available in many of the full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class and so are all of the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Lake Capitogama in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Hannay's Marine has a huge selection of boats, pontoons, and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced team will help you select from industry-leading boat manufacturers, including G3, Bass Cat, Stingray, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Crest and Suncatcher. Don't get left on the shore. Shop Hannay's to experience more. Visit www.hannaysmarine.com today. Your boat, your memories, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Distinctive cabinet design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there's no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Diamond Buick GMC of Alexandria. We have a simple goal for your new or used vehicle buying experience. Customer satisfaction. Our friendly, knowledgeable sales staff will work with you in a no-pressure, hassle-free environment. We also have an accommodating service department that will work hard after the sale to guarantee your continued satisfaction. Family-owned and serving Alexandria and all of West Central Minnesota for over 25 years. Visit us in Alexandria at Diamond Buick GMC and experience the diamond difference. Is that another double? Whoops. How many doubles is that, Tanner? I don't know, but it, it is fast and it is fun. You would think that one time a double could turn into a triple. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could just leave the fish on. For I guess so. I think these ones are gonna be just shy for today, yeah. but. Tanner likes to call me Big Mike, which I jokingly changed to Big Fish Mike. By whatever name, today's a struggle for me, so Tanner gives me a lesson. I'm gonna drop it down. We're gonna put it all the way to the bottom. <laughs> you know when you're on the bottom, when your line gets a little bow in it like that, so. Now I know I'm on the bottom. I'll wait till you get there. I'm there. Are you sure? Mm hmm Okay. So then you close your bail. You want to reel up about three cranks. One, two, three. Now you want to hold it and just shake your rod and you set the hook and catch one. Okay? That's how you do it. <laughs> Doesn't seem And that's that. a perch. Doesn't seem that tough. That never happens. Oh, look at that one. That's a nice one. Nice. You're making mine look small. <laughs> I think mine's going to go back, but yours is coming with us for, uh, for a little. This is going to be a great little snack later. <laughs> when you come out to Big Stone, one of the nice things is, you know, between us at Artie's, Schmitz, any of the guys on the lake, we're willing to help people find fish, you know, and get on those fish. It's not a, it's not a big secret, you know. You, there's no 
long lost honey holes that you know are just full of fish um, but everybody's willing to help guys get on fish and it, it, it's a really good community that way um, where guys are willing to help out another good one yeah these are real nice fish like Tanner said even the smaller ones are yeah. That is good eats. Good fish. That's one of the nice things about big stone perch is that a lot of times you can get families on pontoons and once you get set up so that you can all be jigging out of the side of the pontoon, I mean it can be fast and furious and everybody can get a piece of the action and that's what's really fun. Big Mike. <laughs> Big Mike. That's a pretty nice one for me. I still don't think he's long enough, but. There, Mike, I doubled you. I didn't let you down this time. Now, if Adam could just get one. Time. It's coming. That's one of the eating variety. Well, as you can see, Big Stone Lake really has it when it comes to perch fishing. In addition, Schmidt's Landing and the surrounding area, they have great facilities, water sports, swimming, camping, whatever you want to do in the outdoors, you can do it on Big Stone. I always come back for the perch. We'll be back again this winter. We'll have more great fishing action after this brief break. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by distinctive cabinet design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. Vexilar. Own the ice with Vexilar. K-Drill ice augers. Drilling ice will never be the same. And Big Stone Lake Tourism, Minnesota's hottest perch lake. Pro-inspired. Pro-designed. Tested and proven by legends on the water. Dominating the tournament trail for over 50 years. Everything you need, one legendary brand. Strike King. With the attention to detail to help you get the most out of your fishing time, while still offering the comfort and fit and finish you need for family cruising, Bennington offers you the best of both worlds with its category leading pontoons. Well, let's see what she goes here. Bennington, driven by excellence. Are you tired of using that heavy gas auger or sweating as you're cranking on that old hand auger? Check out this new revolutionary product. It's called the K-Drill. The K-Drill is made right here in the USA and the entire setup weighs right around nine pounds. This is the only auger designed specifically for a cordless brushless drill. The K-Drill has a heavy duty aluminum shaft and is the only auger with a set of tool steel sharpened chipper blades. And the K-Drill blades have lifetime sharpening. Find out more at kdrillauger.com. Alexandria, Minnesota is a multi-season, multi-species fishing hotspot with more than 300 lakes to fish, world-renowned bass fishing, booming walleye populations, and top panfish and muskie opportunities make Alexandria an angler's dream destination. Plus, Alexandria has a vibrant downtown, great golf courses, miles of ski, snowmobile, and bike trails, and fantastic dining and lodging options. If you're looking for great fishing and family fun, consider Alexandria, Minnesota for your next vacation. Distinctive Cabinet Design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there is no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Welcome back to Fishing in the Midwest. As you saw, big stone and open water perch fishing, <laughs> that can be some awesome action, but the winter fishing can be just as good. We've been there several times the last few winters to sample it. Let's take a look at some of the good fishing action we've had in the winter from big stone. One sniffing out over here. Oh, 
That one will clean up nice. Look at the beautiful colors in that thing. Uh, the perch bite has been uh, has been very good for us the last couple of years, and uh, winter time we've had people travel a long ways to come out here and get in on our perch action. Um, had three, four years in a row here of a good perch hatch, and the numbers are up, and the numbers are up again this year. And and uh, you know the perch is a it's a fun fish to fish. Uh, the families like it, kids like it, and uh, the fast action is hard to beat. A perch have been. 12 months a year now. If you can get on the lake, you can catch perch, which is just unheard of. And nice perch, you know, you're, you're catching, you know, you can catch 10 inches, you know, nine and a half, 10, 11 inches, pretty much every day if you get out there and they're biting. We've become a destination for people that lived here in the past coming back or people that are looking on a map and Googling, it's like, where should I go? You know, and they're coming out here because it's a great fishery. Uh, the way of life, it's, it's friendly, it's slow paced. Uh, it's just a nice place to settle down. And, you know, I think it's a gem that sits out here in the bump of Minnesota. We've got a beautiful lake, which is getting better every year. Uh, tremendous fishing, resorts around the area. Oh, that, he's still there, there he comes. Is that a typical perch? That's not bad, you know, that's a nine or 10 incher. We got, I would say our average size perch out here in that nine to 12 inch range. With these electronics, you could just, I mean, when they come racing up to that jig, you can tell they're gonna be caught. I mean, I missed him, and I just slowly dropped him back down. Ooh. Just came way up to get the big ones too. Look at that, look how fat he is. A good one, Tanner. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, we've been sorting through some of the smaller ones, but now it seems like as we get a little closer to evening again, then bigger fish are starting to feed and bite's definitely turning back on. This feels like a heavy one, Tanner. I couldn't be wrong, though. Whoa, little guy. That one fish. How's yours? This one feels good, Mike. Is it? I thought mine was good until I... He'd make a filet. It would. I got the size under you. Again. <laughs> How does that work? That looks heavy. Feet look decent. Not too bad. It'll work. It'll make for a good meal. Oh. There you have it folks, regardless of the season, big stone perching can provide some outstanding fishing action. You're going to want to get in on that bite, in fact, it's a bite that's happening right now. Hey, from all of us at Fish in the Midwest, thanks for stopping by, we'll see you again next time. And as always, remember to include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure.